What's up guys? Welcome back to another DP Tubs. Today I'm going to be focusing on masking and taping this fiberglass tub shower unit. Here you see I've got inch and a half blue painters tape. I've got one inch masking tape. I've got a hand masker and I've got 12 inch by 60 yard masking paper. So basically what I'm going to be showing you is masking and taping around the perimeter of the tub shower unit, the shower tracks and rails, and the fixtures. So I like to use blue painters tape, especially when walls have been just painted. Um, I'm always going to use blue painters tape. Some people have said like, oh, why are you using blue painters tape? It's more expensive, but I just feel more comfortable with it. That way, if there's any paint that peels, I can easily just say, hey, I use blue painters tape. That's, gonna, that's a reflection of your, your painters work. So as you can see, I like to secure my tape at one end and then pull tight and then slide down to secure it. It gives me the straightest and most secure line that I can get. Once I get the perimeter taped off, then I'm going to go ahead and get started on the shower tracks and rails. One thing about taping the rails is you want to leave a very slight gap, like maybe a sixteenth of an inch, so that way when you pull the tape at the end, it's not going to lift any of the coating. Alright, so once the perimeter and all of the fixtures are taped off, I'm going to go ahead and start masking with the 12 inch by 60 yard masking paper. And you guys, I love this. I know some people might use plastic uh, with the masker, but I've noticed that the material when sprayed doesn't kick off of it as much. It's, it works really well with um, the acrylic urethane that I spray. And so I will never use plastic around the perimeter. I will always use this masking paper. Once again, on any painted surface or freshly painted surface, I'm going to be using the blue painter's tape. Uh, with the masking paper, I do use masking tape because that lays right on the, the blue tape around the perimeter. I, I like it. I don't like to just use the masking tape um, because it doesn't give me as, as clean of a line uh, when I'm done. So... This is the way I do it. Comment down below if you do it differently or if you like it. And I'm always overlapping on the paper, so I'm taping on the paper, not on the, on the uh, painted surface. So because I usually spray overlapping the paper, prevent it from going out onto the wall I will double up on the outside and I'll usually just put a single row on top maybe double but the material that I'm using from resurface solutions um, ends up being pretty dry more of a powdery overspray as opposed to a sticky All right, so there you have it. There's the finished product. As you know, this was not an actual reglazing video. This was showing how to mask and tape. If you're interested in seeing more of the process, make sure to check out the other videos here on the channel. And don't forget to also follow me over on Instagram. If you're interested in a direct consultation to answer any of your questions, feel free to message me on Instagram.